To effectively plan and deliver mental health and addiction services in Alberta, we need to have an organization dedicated specifically to that. That's why I'm excited to announce today the creation of the new Mental Health and Addiction 8 organization called Recovery Alberta. Recovery Alberta will be the new provincial health agency responsible for delivering mental health and addiction services currently delivered by AHS and will be established through legislation introduced this spring. If passed, we expect operations to move from AHS to Recovery Alberta by July 1st with all mental health and addiction services currently delivered by AHS transition to the new agency. For Albertans struggling with mental health and addiction, or have loved ones who are struggling, the creation of Recovery Alberta means you will have access to a better and more effective healthcare system that will lead to better healthcare for Albertans. Frontline staff currently working in AHS, addiction and mental health will transition to Recovery Alberta with no changes to their terms or conditions of employment. Additionally, there will be no changes for contracts or grants for service providers currently under agreement with AHS upon the establishment of Recovery Alberta. For our next steps, our government will be putting forward legislation this spring that, if passed, will establish the structure of Recovery Alberta by June 3rd. We anticipate Recovery Alberta will be operational by July 1st of this year, which when is when staff will be transitioning into the new organization. But we want to give those who are struggling access to clear pathways that allow them to take greater control over their lives and their futures. The establishment of Recovery Alberta provides an opportunity to achieve that goal. Today we are presented with a unique opportunity to provide a genuinely proactive, collaborative and coordinated approach and we intend to make the most of it. I've worked in the mental health and addictions field for many years and I believe the Canadian Centre of Recovery Excellence is going to be a game changer. We know, we know it's no longer enough to simply introduce well-intentioned programs and services, but instead we need to rigorously evaluate what works and what does not work so we can double down on the successes rather than the failures. CORE will do this and position Alberta to be a global leader in recovery-oriented care, and it will help save lives by ensuring the most effective programs and services are available to those in need.